Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Capital budgeting techniques, also we can call it project evaluation technique or we can say project appraisal techniques. These are the techniques or the methods which are used in order to uh, calculate or evaluate the profitability of different projects or investments decisions and based on that to decide whether the project is to be accepted or the project is to be rejected so if we found that the project gave a good profitability then may then may we may decide to accept the project or otherwise if we found that the profitability of the project is not as per our standard or does not meet our target so we may reject the, the project or sometimes for example if the even the project may incur loss so before to start the project first of all we have to go for such kinds of evaluation to decide whether to run the project or just reject the project and even in the case if you have several projects for example suppose you have alternative projects then you may decide which one to go for whether project a project b project c the new can compare their profitability, their loss and so on, then you can decide which one is most suitable for your business. All of them can be done through this capital budgeting techniques, which we will discuss it shortly in the next videos. So overall, these techniques are divided into two parts, part A and part B. Part A is called traditional method, also we can call it non-discounting methods. And part B is called modern methods or discounting methods. In the case of non-discounting method, or also we can call it traditional method, this method do not consider time value of money. And you know what is time value of money? We explained in financial management that the value of money depends on time. When time moves definitely or when time change, value of the money also get changed, right? If you remember, we said a dollar of today is better than a dollar of tomorrow. If you receive today, it is good as compared to tomorrow. But if you pay tomorrow, it is better. If you pay tomorrow, it is better as compared to pay today, right? Because of several reasons we have given or we have explained the reason as well. So time value of money is very important in the case of investment decision and so on. In the case of traditional method, we call it, or also we call it non-discounting method, time value of money is not considered at all. Or we can say according to this method, time value of money is not important. So according to these things, a dollar of today is just equal to a dollar of tomorrow. So this method does not consider time value of money, and this is one of the limitations for this group. We cannot say these methods are wrong, but they have their own usage in a specific conditions and circumstances. Next group is called modern method or also we can call it discounting method. According to this method, time value of money is important. So they adjust the time value calculation while consider the time value concept while calculating their uh, the project profitability or to calculate the project uh, project income we can say. So these methods are important are mostly in use in order to decide whether the project has to be accepted or projects are to be rejected. So generally we can say there are two methods. One method is one groups are called traditional method without time value of money and the second one is with time value of money. Next, <clears throat> if you see the traditional method itself is divided into three, three uh, subgroups or three types. The first one is the payback period method, second one is the post payback profitability method, and the next one is accounting or average rate of return method, as well as the modern method is divided, in, divided into four groups, which is called the non, net, profit, net present value method, profitability index method, and internal rate of return, as well as the net terminal value method, right? So these are the methods that inshallah we will discuss with the coming videos. So three methods under the traditional and four methods under the modern methods will be discussed here. One thing more that you have to remember is given as a note here. It is mentioned that in all methods cash inflows are considered after tax but before depreciation. 
But in ARR or accounting rate of return, cash inflows are considered after tax but before depreciation. It means that in all those six, seven methods which we have mentioned previously, cash inflows are considered after tax but before depreciation. After tax but before depreciation is basically this step. Profit after tax but before depreciation. It means the last step. And if you remember, this was the formula from the previous chapter, chapter number two, while calculating the annual cash inflow, right? Annual cash inflow, if you remember, this was the formula. So for calculating the profitability of the project, for all those methods, except one of these methods, which is called the accounting rate of return, profitability of the project should come in this, in this group, or we can say in, in this level. So the point is that, if the profitability of the project is given in this level, so you have to bring it in this level and you have to make several adjustments. For example, you have to make this adjustment. Even if the profitability of the project is given in this level, so you have to bring it in this level, right? Or otherwise, for example, even the profitability is on that level, so you have to bring it in this level. Make your adjustment. And it depends on the question whether the profitability is in this level, in this level, in this level, or in this level. It should be in this level. This one is acceptable. Otherwise, it should not be accepted. But only in one method, which is called accounting rate of return. In this case, cash inflows are considered after tax and depreciation. After tax and depreciation is this one basically, right? Profitability after tax and depreciation. Only in one method, which is called AIR, A or R, accounting rate of return, that the profitability can be considered after tax and depreciation. In rest of the methods, profitability is in this level profit after tax and depreciation. So thank you so much. Watch the next videos in order to understand or in order to see the calculation of those methods.